wherever he's needed, G.I. Joe is there. Joe. Look up the heavy artillery laser to the attack vehicle. Move him out. Each sold separately. He'll stand for freedom wherever he's needed. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe. Joe attack vehicle comes with clutch figure. Other products from the G.I. Joe collection, each sold separately from Hasbro. Coming up, G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 112. The Clutch with Vamp, a multi-purpose attack vehicle. Stick around. What's up, and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Happy Friday. Today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the G.I. Joe Classified series, much-awaited number 112, Clutch with Vamp, multi-purpose attack vehicle. So, uh, released early. Um, went on sale earlier this week on Hasbro Pulse, shipped out, arrived, and here we have it. So, I love the, uh, the box art. You have, you know, Clutch hanging out of the Vamp right here. Here you can see the ferret and driver in the background. Very cool little Easter egg. Uh, nice little windowed box over here. Homage to the original OG Real American Hero figures. There's your clutch. Uh, typical repaints. Rock and roll. But anyways, go over the box. Looks really nice here. You got the G.I. Joe Star 112 on the top. Uh, UPC and disclaimer bs on the bottom move to the side here there's some stats for you close up 112 qr code move around to the back there you see clutch stands at 6.3 inches or 161 millimeters you see all the accessories the vamp the extra goodies that comes with it um, shot over here you got clutch's forearm tattoos uh, you got the rear view mirrors and the tail lights inside the driver's seat. Cool stuff, cool, cool stuff. And this side, um, it's not the greatest of shots, but you have a artist render of clutch. So cool deal. All right, so we're not going to waste any time. We're going to go ahead and pop this open. But first, please subscribe to the channel. All right, let's go ahead and dig in. Uh, we're just going to use our exacto knife that we've been using lately. So we'll go ahead and slice that right there. Get the exact amount of fat of here. Pop it in the box. The box is actually larger than I expected, but um, I am not complaining. I think that's totally fine. Well, this came out first. Here's your accessory box. Clutch with vamp, multi-purpose attack vehicle. 112, Jajo Star, and 112 on this side. Is it me, or I've never noticed the uh, the periods or dots in between the numbers before? Uh, anyway, there's Clutch in his little plastic prison. Uh, get out the actual insert, which is uh, feels stuck. All right, and there's our insert. I don't know if you guys are going to have the same issue. But uh, my box was, or my insert was stuck inside the box. I couldn't get it out. So I don't know what the what the problem was, but I don't know. But anyways, uh, you got a little instruction booklet here. You know, pull a little front cover. Open it up. It's going to explain where all the pieces go. Um, to keep in mind, I remember Lenny said something in the fan stream that uh, some of the wheels... Um, you have two specific ones for the front and two for the back. Don't force them or you'll break them. So keep in mind when you put yours together. Uh, show us where to put the 50 cal. Uh, your hoses. Um, looks like the lights. And then your accessories and all that good stuff. And then clutch inside. So we'll get that all to the side. And uh, open, open this up. Um, we're going to need Exacto again. Go ahead and cut some of this plastic. So it's nice. Pull this up. And then we'll take out the frame and chassis of the vamp. And then we got some more in here. We'll actually take that insert out and get to the wheels. And slide 
those two out. So we have two that are on the right side. Put them here. And then you have two that are on the left side. And I'll look these over before we do anything just to make sure that they are in fact different. And if they aren't compatible, we'll figure it out. All right, so first, let's bring these wheels over. So I'm gonna take, so here's the left side and here's the right side. Flip them upside down and I don't really see much of a difference besides this wheel is a bit glossier than this one. So I don't know. So we're not gonna worry about them right now. We're gonna go ahead and first go over clutch here. So here he is. Looks pretty cool. That pistol. There you go. It's like a probably 45, all black with the brown handle. Uh, it does have an extended muzzle at the end of the, uh, the slide there on top. So pretty neat. And let's go ahead and break him out. Right, the packaging is a little different than I remember. Um, his arms are actually, you know, underneath inside of it. Uh, there's his helmet. I'll show you guys that. Pretty awesome. You can see the uh, hairstyle he has. And pop that back on. He's got that vest. You know, OD green with the brown in it. Uh, holster on the front. I'll actually go ahead and put that in while we're at it. He does have more accessories that we'll get to. Um, looking at his right shoulder, he's got the flag. Nothing on the, on the uh, left side. Uh, tattoos on his right forearm. He's got a woman... It's like almost like a shield symbol, like the shield, you know, eagle bird, whatever. Kind of looks like scissors at the bottom of it. Flip to this side, you know, you have some uh, some checkered flags, some dice, and I'm not exactly sure what that is. He's got, I guess that's a watch on his left wrist. We'll look around at the belt. Uh, a couple ammo mags, that's about it. All completely attached to the belt, which is uh, movable. Um, he has this right thigh strap that has some accessories on it, which aren't removable, of course. That could be a little mini flashlight. Um, there's an opening here for something. Uh, a couple little tools. That's pretty neat. Let's check out his articulation. Head is on ball joint. Move forward, backward. Full 360 and side to side. Nice articulation on that. Uh, arms and come out up to here. We do have butterfly joints. Uh, they can rotate a full 360. You have bicep swivel and shoulder swivel, of course, or bicep swivel. You have double jointed pinless elbows and you have wrist rotation, full 360, and as well as a hinge to go out and in. All right, he does have the app crunch, but uh, the vest is gonna limit the mobility on that, but you can see a little bit of movement. Um, we swivel, come down to the legs. There's your drop leg. Uh, legs can come out that far. They can move back that far. And to the side that far. Put that back in. He has double jointed pinless knees. Come on down. It's got calf rotation at the top of the boot, the bottom of the pants. Very cool. Boots all black with the uh, the brown, you know, lace front. He does have a side to side pivot in the ankle, as well as a hinge. Don't have the foot go forward that far, and up that far. It's a cool deal. So there's your clutch. Uh, nice. He's uh he's pretty sturdy. Feels good. Um. Using the rock and roll parts, you know, he's actually much better than the current rock and roll that I have. So I'm happy with it. And we'll put him to the side for now. Uh, before we get to the vamp, which we're going to next, we're going to go ahead and open the accessory box, which I am glad that they kept. You know, they got rid of the uh, windowless packaging, which I'm totally fine with, but we got to keep the little accessory box and our G.I. Joe Curl bags. So that's cool. Here's the first one that came out, so we'll go ahead and open this and check out the goodies inside. 
and just one. And that will be your top gun for the vamp itself. You got these a couple of 50 cals on it. It's like you can move them around, which is pretty awesome. You have like different spots where you can plug them into. You can either have it close, mid range, or far out. So that's pretty cool. Nice little uh, add on for that. Check out anything else in here. This piece does come up. But yeah, this thing can be fully taken apart. It's pretty neat. Slide that back in there and plug it in. And a bus look at that. That'll turn for you and rotate so you can move it around. Won't go too much into that, but we'll get it off to the side. We'll get back to it when we put the vamp in there. Next bag. Open this up. This one's loaded with stuff. You can just feel it. Jeez, man, that's a ton. So we'll go over this stuff. So first, we'll show you his little uh, his fuel tanks. Little gas cans he has. That will obviously go on the back of the vamp. Pretty neat. You know, typical all, all green. It's got the uh, little flammable hazard sticker on it. On both of them, actually. So that's cool. Put them off to the side. Alright, here you have this little uh, pouch. Like a side satchel type deal. Does not open. Two little holes here where you can plug them into something on the vamp. And we'll get to that when we get to the vamp, of course. Uh, more vamp stuff that we'll just get out the way so we can show you the rest of the clutches accessories. Here's your top floodlights, fog lights, whatever you want to call them. Pretty neat. Uh, shovel. Cool. Let's see. I just think there was a hatch in here. But maybe not. Some more lights. Alright. Here's your little ammo mags drums whatever you want to call them for the top of that uh that dual 50 cal over there already has your ammo straps you know hanging out of it uh, it's nice nice and uh, flexible here good stuff all right here's your fire axe it's got a red like a red top um gray handle and then you have a little wrench here it's got the red and gray as well. Hold it. Pretty cool. You could probably fit this one clutch. Uh, fire extinguisher. Very important. All red. Uh, strap does not move. It's got the gray nozzle. Neat. Alright, a couple more things here. You got these two clips, which I'm not exactly sure what they are yet. We'll get to them. But both in green. Obviously, we'll go on the vamp. This piece here, which I'm also not sure what it goes to yet. We'll get to it. So, put that off to the side. And now for some clutch stuff. Here we have a pistol grip stocked shotgun. It's black with, you know, the brown, obviously, for the wooden areas here. Hole at the end of the barrel for a blast effect. Good stuff. And a second helmet. Now, this is neat. So you have the uh, Steel Brigade, Steel Core, you know, helmet, uh, red lens, all green. He's got the uh, little, like, tires, I guess Tiger Force uh, shark teeth put onto the sides of them. It's pretty neat. Little single antenna coming off the back. And the good thing is it's not a separate head, it's an actual helmet. So we'll bring the clutch back over, pop that one off, slide this one on. There we go. Now that's cool that they included this, but I personally am not feeling it. I'm gonna stick with his regular helmet because that's the clutch I know. And then we'll go ahead and give him his shotgun. Uh, I'm not gonna fully pose him up with it, but we're gonna have him just kind of hold it in one hand, you know, have it kind of up and like chilling off to the side. Um, I will take this little wrench tool over here because there is a this space on this, uh, thigh strap and we're gonna slide that wrench on in cool deal we'll go ahead and do this and 
put clutch back off to the side. And now we'll get to the vamp. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and get this plastic wrap off. Um, this is kind of like that adhesive wrap. So that's good, you know, to keep it from uh, getting scratched up and all that good stuff. So that's nice. Go ahead and peel this off. Just around just once on that side and once on the front. Let's go ahead and look this over. I guess we'll start with the back. United States, caution, stand away, pre-assembled decals, which is always good. I'll come to the side, you got med aid kit. Danger 2 on latch, 5, 6, 4, 7, 2 on latch again, caution on the front, United States, GI Joe Star, check out that hood right here, lift that up, there's your engine, looks like a nice big block in there, that's pretty cool, you got some little straps on the front, caution, here's a little cable hook, so that's cool, nice uh, thick string here, the hook attached to it and you can roll that back up like that bring it around gi joe toolkit procedures a bunch of different stickers on here another gi joe store try to look inside the uh up on the dash nice colors um a bunch of cool stuff like you got that little piece here that moves that's cool Put it in gear or accelerate. I don't see no pedals in there, so maybe that's it. That is the acceleration. Uh, here's your steering wheel, which will rotate as well. Nice seats. There's your frame on it. All right. Let's go ahead and start uh, adding stuff to this. I'm going to kind of set the box off to the side here. Just get a get an idea. Um, got your lights here, so it looks like they will go ahead and just plug straight onto the top. Yeah. Each side, actually, go ahead and put that window down so we can get in there. And get the first batch of lights on, like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the second batch right there. So now you have both of those right above the rear view mirror. Oh, I forgot to show you the mirrors too, but they are reflective, so you can see. Good stuff. Um, looking at this, let me see. Okay, so I figured out what these are. They look like old shit handles. So they would go on this bar right here, one on each side, so that we can hold on to it ride over too much bumpy stuff or hit a nice dip oh shit you know just reach out and grab the handle flip to this side and we'll put the second one on just snap that on in just like that cool deal and we have an extra light so just bring it around to the front of the vehicle right here right in front of your tow cable Pop them lights on right there. All right, next, put the windshield back up, and you have this little bag here. The holes are actually different size, so put the smaller to the left side of the vamp and the larger to the right. And there you go. So it would be the same with this piece here small at the bottom, big at the top. And then you lay that on the hood and plug it on in just like that. There you go. So now we'll do the wheels. Uh, again, I don't see really any difference in these besides the gloss and the mat. So this one does look a bit smaller. So let me see these. Is there a difference? Because if they just pop one, then I don't think there's an issue. But yeah, that seemed to go on fine. Pop that in. They're both on. As you can see, nice little, they got shocks. That's really cool. They spin nice. Flip around to the back. Get the first back one on. Plugged in fine. And right here. Like that. 
again, got the shocks. Once the wheels go on, it gives it a little bit of weight, so that's nice. Got some nice, uh, nice weight. To it. All right, bring around to the back. Let's see if anything else pops open. Doesn't look like it. We'll go ahead and get your little fuel tanks here. Put one and one right there in there. Spin this back around this way. And we'll grab our little shovel here and snap that on right to the front. Maybe it goes right here. Scoot it down a little bit more. Like that. So you got your shovel in. And now we need to worry about the axe and the fire extinguisher. You do have this little piece right here so I'm thinking maybe that the fire extinguisher will go right there so that way if you run into an issue you know you can just reach behind grab it and you know spray down whatever uh, whatever kind of issues you might be having something on fire you know maybe I'm thinking that's probably where that goes and then our axe um this might actually go on clutch's belt as well but we're not going to use it for that I'll just put that down for now. I think that that will go there. So that works with that. Yeah, nowhere for the axe to go yet. So now let's take our dual 50 cal turret type deal here and plug that on into the back. So that fits nice and firm. And then I believe you have this little space in the front to be able to put your little ammo drums. So you lift that. Go ahead and feed your ammo belt in right there so that'd be one side come around over here put in your second little ammo drum maybe they stand up maybe they stand up you can do it either way but they go in fine and then we'll feed that one in and there we go cool all right so then next we just take uh take our little helmet here Put it on the passenger seat. Um, we'll just throw the axe in the back with the uh, the fuel. So we'll bring off clutch over here. Put his hand up on the old shit handle, and just have him holding on. You boys ready to go? Very cool. So let's go ahead and check uh, check clutch out inside of the vamp. Go ahead and pop that shotgun out. Lay them down right there. Bring us around. Um, see how good he fits in. Probably some little feet adjustments. I don't see how this is going to be easy. Unless we move this to the side. I don't remember how they plugged him in, but I'll figure it out. Just kind of slide him on down in there. Let's see if I can straighten my legs out some. Yeah, there we go. Get the left hand. Put this back down. On the steering wheel. Right there. Bring this back up again. And get that hand on the accelerator once more. Pop these lights back on. I don't like to stay on. up and there we go good stuff back around and there we go all everything you know fits in there including clutch you can get a second figure you want to put in there um probably one up on the back and i'm not sure exactly sure where he would stand because you know it doesn't look like there's much of an area for anyone to stand on there unless you have them kind of sitting down you know spray eagle just kind of holding on to them you know, going on for the ride. Anyway, let's put that back down. All right, let's spin this around. Get you another shot. So, um, we'll go ahead and take a quick break, and we'll come back with some final thoughts. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Be sure to check out our previous videos. A link will always be pinned in the comments. 
now back to G.I. Joe. All right. So here is the G.I. Joe Classified Series number 112. Clutch with Vamp Multi-Purpose Attack Vehicle. Very cool. Totally awesome. I was waiting for this thing. Finally got it. Here it is. Uh, it has nice size, nice weight. You can fit everything on there. It's simply fantastic. Um, for the time being, he's just going to be riding solo. That's how I got him. I'm going to have him displayed. I'm probably going to take a second figure and put him in there with him, you know, just for the hell of it. I don't know who yet. Uh, probably, you know, I'll decide on that later. But overall, this is a great vehicle. Uh, the price was a little hefty. You know, you figure you're going to pay 25 for the figure alone. So 75 for the vehicle. I think 60 might have been more reasonable. Um, it's probably just due to the weight and you know all the special gadgets and goodies it has with it but i think it's worth it um i'm not going to go out and buy 10 of these like some people have done i think one and done i'm fine i don't need another one so i'm good with the one i'm sure they have more vehicles coming and you know there'll be plenty of stuff you know down the road that we can get to uh you know put our joe figures into but this is great you know i absolutely love it it's a uh, it really was a nice touch in addition, especially to bring this out to not make it a HasLab. I don't think this would be worthy of a HasLab, but it's definitely good for someone who's like strolling along. Oh, they mean to go and jump on Hasbro, see what they got. They got it, yay. But that's just a, a good point to show that they're making efforts. They're gonna give us more vehicles. When we're gonna get them, what retailers they're going to, that's the thing. But anyways, um, that's gonna do it for this one. We had a long video. Uh, I try to stick to these maybe around 15 20 minutes but of course you got a vehicle and a lot of stuff to go over so it took a little bit longer um pick this up if you haven't yet um i would watch the aftermarket i think they're sold out again on paulson a couple went up the other day but i'm um, just keep an eye out for it it's definitely worth it so go ahead and pick it up but anyways i uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw if you did please like always leave that giant thumbs up subscribe Tickle that bell so you're notified and post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.